Rabingo is a rapist hiding from the law. What the hell is going on? How did he get to this point? Once he was one of the most talented Brazilian players, being recognized by the king of football, Pelé himself. But the bad habits and big parties have totally ruined the guy's career. A champion of Spain, Italy and Brazil, a Copa America winner, former Real Madrid, Milan and Manchester City player, Rabinho has lots of great achievements and moments of glory. Although he failed to fulfill the talent he has been given completely. Usually it's journalists who label talented players, comparing them with football legends. But Rabinho was recognized not by some media but by Pelé himself. The greatest footballer of all time was sure that Robson de Souza would become his heir and therefore closely followed his training and games. And it makes sense, as they both started their careers in Santos, bringing them the national champion's glory and both played in an entertaining Jenga style, which looks like dancing with the ball. Of course, after such promising statements from Pele, no wonder all European clubs started to follow Robinho. The guy became a big breakthrough and sensation because right after Santos, his career progression reached Real Madrid with a number 10 jersey. And the 10 was also the rate of Rabinho's ego increase once he arrived at the Barnabéu. Well, when you have such a huge leap in your career, it's easy to think that you've already reached the skies and these beliefs didn't allow Rabinho to play for Los Blancos consistently. Everything dependent on the Brazilian's mood. Sometimes he's sparkling like a superstar. Sometimes he fades like smoldering ash. While the quality of his life grew at an enormous pace, Robinho's fast bug allowed him to arrive at the team's training in an expensive Lamborghini and spend money on great parties. The Brazilian's wallet was literally full of cash, as envious Spanish journalists often caught him in the act. At some point, Rabinho was so annoyed that, according to his teammate Royston Drentney, he made a nightclub right in the basement of his house. A place that outsiders couldn't enter. Back then, Rabinho had no idea that this basement would become a graveyard of his whole career. Rabinho's lack of discipline only grew. He was showing up late for training sessions and camps and was involved in fights with teammates, which resulted in angering Real Madrid's board with his behavior. That wasn't royal manners after all, so they had no choice but to sell him. In 2008, Robson de Souza was supposed to sign for Chelsea. The London club almost reached an agreement with Real Madrid and was already selling jerseys with the name of the future newcomer in its online store beforehand. But all of a sudden, Robinho wound up in another English side as he signed a contract with Manchester City. The citizens at that time were not yet a football giant and basically it was just the very beginning of Sheikhs building the new major force. Rabinho admitted in 2016 that he didn't even know City existed and thought he was moving to Manchester United. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was joining Manchester United. I was misled by all involved. I wasn't aware there was another Manchester club. Well, to air is human, must be. Brazilian fans reacted to Rabinho's decision extremely negatively. His compatriots felt that their idol chose City just for money, but not career prospects. And his performance in Manchester had been also disappointing, although he wasn't that bad at the start. For two years, the Brazilian was playing there, he scored 16 goals in 56 matches, which is far from impressive. And moreover, his addiction to partying along with setting new records at beer ball has shown up yet again. Rabinho continued to hang out at parties and justified himself to the press by saying that English footballers do it much more often, 
so all the attention should be paid to them, while he is not to blame and shouldn't be treated like this. I liked Manchester, the club, the restaurants, and let's not forget the nightclubs. I was a party goer, and yes, I like to have fun, but the Englishmen went out more than the Brazilians. Joe Hart was always out, and so was Mika Richards and Sean Wright Phillips. But the Brazilians partied. The club always cut us. Rabinho recalled. In 2009, he was arrested on suspicion of raping a girl in a nightclub in Leeds, but was released on bail. Furthermore, he was fined for an unauthorized departure from Man City's training camp in Tenerife. Similarly to his Real Madrid story, no one at City wanted to endure his antics anymore. Hence, in 2010, Rabinho was sold to Milan, and Pelé realized that he was wrong in calling Rabinho his heir. It's sad to see how players who should be an example to follow show their bad side and behave inappropriately. Robinho is undoubtedly a talented player. But such stories don't add prestige to Brazilian football. The naughty Brazilian got another opportunity to get serious and revive his career by moving to Milan, but there he had the same issues with stability. He scored 32 goals in 143 games at San Siro, which was another poor result. Off the pitch, Rabinho, of course, remained the same party boy. He again kept on getting drunk, visiting disco parties, and thus he got himself in trouble that could put an end to his free life. He was again accused of rape, but if the previous story was hushed up in England, the Italian court did not give concessions to the Brazilian. In January of this year, Rabinho was found guilty of gang raping of an Albanian girl at a disco in Milan. The footballer tried to escape punishment for many years and denied his guilt, but there is no way back anymore. The courts have rejected his appeals, demanding immediate extradition. Welcome to Prison FC! Rabinho managed to return to Brazil in time and now this is the only thing that protects him from big trouble. Local authorities are in no hurry to extradite the culprit to the Italians. Right now, Rabinho's worst scenario is serving his sentence in his native country. Although even if they initiate this procedure, the Brazilian court must first obtain and inspect all documents related to this case. So now Robinho can enjoy freedom, but his reputation in the football world has been ruined completely. He returned to Santos, but a week later his contract was suspended. He also had a chance to play in MLS. Orlando City wanted to sign him, but due to the rape story, they also changed their minds about doing business with Robinho. Oh, whatever, at least nightclubs will never close their doors, right? Now he is 38 years old and still hasn't announced his retirement. Probably he is still hoping for some offers from elsewhere, even though it's kind of obvious that this is the end and now it's time to think about how not to end up in jail. Though it's sad to see Robinho's fall. He had talent and great potential, but he didn't have the most important things – responsibility, discipline and the desire to become a star on the pitch. However, we wish the Brazilian to rethink his career and not make the same mistakes outside of football. And this is very illustrative story for young Brazilian stars to learn from that and prioritize properly. Dear friends, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and follow only the right examples. See you in the next videos and bye-bye.